207 KDA International Network Movement has given us a very good opportunity that Ethiopian elderly also to join in this event and 211 is the fifth year of ADA and I am very glad and I thank Helpage for making us join this international movement. During these years, five years, we have learned a lot about elderly issues and we have tried to influence older people to join this movement by becoming member of ADA. At this moment, we have about 11 ADA members and we are making meetings at least 15, every 15 days per month, two times a month, we discuss about the issues of older people and especially basic problems of elderly in Ethiopia. And we try to convince elderly associations to at least demand the internal, uh, for the implementation of Madrid International Plan of Action for older people. That's the main purpose of I think the organizing the ADA group network internationally because United Nations member countries have already agreed that the Madrid International Plan of Actions for older people have to be implemented in each country. So our purpose, main purpose is to make aware of this plan of action to the government leaders, especially uh, concerned ministries, to make the plan of action to be implemented at the grassroots level. In this aspect, we have communicated and discussed with various ministries, for example, Ministry of Labor and Social Affairs, which is the main government uh, uh, owner of the program, and the Ministry of Labor already has uh, prepared a plan of action for Ethiopian purpose in a very, very implement, uh, implementable manner. Now this plan of action has already been uh, prepared uh, six years ago and most of the activities are still not being implemented, but awareness creation for the public as well as government leaders uh, have been uh, activated. However, some of the ministries which have already implemented I think we have to mention Ministry of Women's, Women, Children and Youth Affairs has already uh, 
uh, earmarked the most critical issues of older women in particular to be in their program and they have already started acting by working with associations who are giving care and support to older people. And this year, Ministry of uh, uh, Women, Children and Youth Affairs uh, has uh, prepared some 50 older women and really supported with blanket issuing which is, uh, that's what we call uh, age demands action. This is an action which is done by Ministry of Women and Children and Youth Affairs. They have already uh, discussed with us that they will try to do everything possible to make the lives of specially older women to be uh, improved as much as possible. And they have promised to work with Older People Association in any activities that they are dealing with old women's issues. We are very glad and we are very thankful to this ministry and we hope they will carry on in a better and well-organized matter for the future. Uh, similarly, uh, HABCO, HABCO, which is the HIV AIDS Prevention and uh, Prevention uh, Bureau of the uh, Ministry of Health, has done a concrete action in that previously uh, HIV AIDS was not considered as an older people's issue. So through the ADA and uh, other uh, uh, awareness creation and uh, advocacy workers, uh, Bureau has already uh, waived that older people are affected and infected as the other social, uh, other public. So they have already in, uh, incorporated in their program that older people will be uh, treated, will be encouraged and will be assisted to protect themselves from HIV AIDS and also because they are also um, uh, people who are caring, caring for orphans or grandchildren, they will be in a good position to teach about HIV's problem for their families as well as for the general, uh, general public if they are involved in the activities. And this year they have uh, allocated about 70,000 Ethiopian dollars to capacitate the uh, older people associations regarding uh, HIV AIDS uh, activities. So we have been at least uh, in about four or five regions to uh, make awareness that elderly are affected and infected in HIV AIDS and we have to be involved in the actual activities that the government is, is, is doing and we have, be to be, to, we have to be capacitated so that we can uh, do a better work.
than what we have been doing in the past. And other ministries, uh, I'm sure we have already contacted Social Security Agency, Ministry of Urban and Construction, Customs, Inland and Revenue Authorities, Addis Ababa City Administration, and some other organizations to clarify the situation of older people, the bad situation older people are, and how we should together, the government, NGOs, and older people, older associations as well, to work together to at least reduce the very bad situation that older people are uh, living in now. Uh, this year also we have done uh, a celebration of uh, uh, International Day for Older People outside Addis Ababa, uh, that is in Awasa region. Uh, and there the ADA group uh, also went to that place and introduced what ADA is and that grassroots associations also have, have to participate in the ADA activity, asking their leaders to at least implement the national plan of action of older people. That's the, the, the motto of uh, ADA. We need actions rather than talks, celebrations, and what not. Actions that can be done by, uh, the, uh, by the people, by the government, and uh, other NGOs. We are not demanding too much. We are not demanding something that cannot be achieved. But there are lots of things that can be done uh, without any uh, pressure of uh, economic situation, such as, um, for example, uh, to those who are very poor or the poorest of the poor, there should be organized older people associations who can at least uh, supply foods, clothing, and patching of uh, their houses, torn out uh, houses, uh, maybe uh, try to get health facilities, free, free health facilities, and so on. In this regard, we have uh, really encouraged to see some caregiving organizations uh, now developing at least in many areas, but we need those kind of uh, uh, organizations to really increase in number. Uh, this year also, we have participated in the great run of Ethiopia. This is to show that older people are willing to participate in any development, in any social activities, if they are allowed, if they are encouraged to do so. So we have really, we are very happy to be able to, be, to participate in this activity through the uh, support of HelpAge International. Uh, this is the encouragement we like. We want to be involved in many activities, but situations are not con convenient or uh, uh, good for us. We need support, financial, material, and moral support. So I think in the, in the coming future, uh, from what we have, uh, we have learned from the seven year, five years' experience, 
we can do a better uh, activity, a better outcome in the year 2012. Uh, we have already, the, 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 the delegation has already uh, put its, its uh, plan of 2012. It has already uh, planned which ministries we are going to go to, to talk about the issues concerned in the ministry and we have already prepared the questions or uh, which we are going to raise uh, and we have divided the, the, the team, the, the, the group uh, into two groups, the team into two groups, so that we can cover wider uh, ministries and those religious uh, leaders, uh, and we hope we, we, we can do it uh, with a better plan. And this time we have also, uh, we are very glad also that uh, and the uh, help aid uh, organization we have a very strong young communication uh, i don't know a unit which is very encouraging and very aspiring uh, to the team so we hope together we'll do a better job in the future Thank you.